Kamala Harris, she headed down to the border to pretend that she's actually tough on the border, which, of course, she is not. She's got a big problem in the polls with Latinos, apparently. According to a brand new national NBC News Telemundo poll, she has the worst level of advantage for a Democrat in four election cycles. Right now, she's winning Latinos, but only 54 to 40, with 6% saying they're unsure or would not vote. That's a 14-point advantage, but that is not nearly Joe Biden's advantage in 2020. In 2020, Joe Biden had a 36-point advantage, not 14, 36-point advantage on Donald Trump. In 2016, Hillary Clinton had a 40-point advantage on Donald Trump. In 2012, Barack Obama had a 39-point advantage on Mitt Romney. So it, honest to God, this is one of the things that's very difficult for me to understand about how they're even constructing these likely voter samples. If Trump is only losing by 14% among Latinos, if that's real, and if Donald Trump is also outperforming among black voters, which he seems to be, and if Donald Trump is outperforming among male voters, which he seems to be, how is this even a super tight race? Now, it seems to be a tight race by every poll. As I mentioned last week, that could be poll grouping. That could be a bunch of risk-averse pollsters. It could also be that they are trying to model out an electorate that's going to have heavy mail-in voting. According to an NBC News poll, 51% of all votes in this election cycle will be early, and those heavily trend toward Democrats, which again is setting the stage for another one of these red mirage nights. Okay, so just be aware. That's the thing that's going to be talked about for the next five weeks. A lot of the mail-in voting which gets counted last by law in states like Pennsylvania, is counted after the day of voting. Day of voting, Trump is expected to win in most of these states. And then the mail-in voting starts to come in, and that trends more toward the Democrats. So that's why you got to wait a little bit later on into the night to see exactly where the voting is, just so you actually know. It's also why, if you're a Republican, please early vote. Go out and vote right now. Don't wait. I know there's pushback. But well, they're going to throw out my vote. They're gonna, if you're worried about that, vote early, and then go to the polling place and cast a provisional. Like just, but do it now. Get out of the way because you don't know what's going to come up on voting day. In any case, Kamala Harris headed down to the border to try to pretend that she's actually tough on the border. She said she's going to take action to close the border, actually, which is really exciting. She's in Douglas, Arizona. Amazing news after three and a half years of the most open border policy in American history. To reduce illegal border crossings, I will take further action to keep the border closed between ports of entry. Those who cross our borders unlawfully will be apprehended and removed and barred from re-entering for five years. We will pursue more severe criminal charges against repeat violators. Okay, well, so she's real tough now. She's so tough that she's even wearing her, like, look at me, I'm on the border jacket, which is really exciting. And there's only one problem, of course, which is in 2019, she literally said that Donald Trump was creating fictional problems at the border, which is weird because uh, they weren't fictional. We have a president of the United States who has created a fiction about a crisis at the border and he has held up the United States government and its workers around his vanity project called the wall. It's a vanity project. Well, again, you're going to believe this lady that she's going to shore up the border. Get to more on this in a moment. First, every year when Apple releases the new iPhone, the big carriers play the same old game. Sign your life away for the next two years and get a free iPhone. Don't do this. With Pure Talk. You can get great savings on the new iPhone 16, and you can still get an affordable data plan that fits your needs on America's most dependable 5G network. How would I know? Well, because I have the new iPhone 16 from Pure Talk. Bottom line, stop falling into the same traps and overpaying for data you're not going to use. Listen to this. With Pure Talk, for just 35 bucks a month, get unlimited talk, text, and 15 gigs of data, plus mobile hotspot on America's most dependable 5G network. And here's the best part. When you switch your cell phone service to Pure Talk on a qualifying plan, you'll get one year free of Daily Wire Plus Insider. That's access to the full library of DW Plus movies, series, and documentaries, including Lady Ballers, What is a Woman, Mr. Bertram, and Run, Hide, Fight, plus uncensored ad-free daily shows, one year free of our kids' platform, Benki, and your very own free Leftist Tears Tumblr. The only way you can get the special offer is by heading on over to puretalk.com slash Shapiro or call and mention my name. So stop overpaying for your cell phone plan. Go to puretalk.com slash Shapiro today. Switch to a qualifying plan. Get one year free of Daily Wire Plus Insider. And meanwhile, Donald Trump aggressively campaigning. He used some language that got everybody very upset. He said that Joe Biden has become mentally impaired over time, but Kamala Harris was always mentally impaired. And frankly, it's a funny line. Yeah, I, I don't really see any huge problem with it. They used to call George W. Bush unbelievably stupid. They are, they're constantly suggesting that Trump himself is mentally impaired. Now you're going to get all offended. Now, now, now you're really going to start clutching your pearls. Uh-huh, sure. Joe Biden became mentally impaired. Kamala 
was born that way. And everybody got very upset. No, no, you can't say that. All he's saying is she's dumb. He's allowed to say that. And you know what? You're always calling him dumb. So that's just the way it works. He then pointed out, in more important news, that she has completely erased our borders, which of course is true. Kamala Harris inherited the most secure border in U.S. history. And as borders are, she then set the all-time record for illegal immigration into our country every single year. And many of these people were stone cold criminals and murderers. She willfully and deliberately erased her own nation's borders, a crime so wicked as to defy description. Okay, well, he's not wrong about that. Now, the one thing that everybody, I think, is sort of keeping an eye out for is the cut down on information. And in the lead up to 2020, obviously, the media and social media, they combined to shut down stories that were harmful to Democrats. And there's plenty out there that's very harmful to Kamala Harris. Is that what we're going to see? Well, if John Kerry has his, his way, that, that is what we're going to see. This guy was the special envoy on behalf of the Biden administration for years. Here he was at the Orwellian World Economic Forum saying that the First Amendment has to be stopped. It's allowing too many people to say things that John Kerry doesn't like. Look, if people go to only one source and the source they go to is sick, and, uh, you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation, uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, hammer it out of existence. So what you need, what we need is to, is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having, uh, you know, winning enough votes that you're free to be able to, to uh, implement change. My goodness, my goodness, how much these people truly hate many American principles in favor of their cliquish global regime. It really is quite frightening. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 